this is what we're going to do. We are going to mount the GPS. It could either be GPS or phone. I'm going to mount the GPS up here, but this bar, as you can see, is too thin to mount. So this is actually the mount here. I got it on eBay. I think it was 25 bucks. I'll put the link. All the links will be in the description. Um, oh, I guess they give you a small bar or a thick bar. I guess they give you two options here. But this is going to connect to the windshield, which should be easy. I'm surprised they don't give you any instructions at all, but it's not surprising. I'm sure it's pretty self explanatory. Yeah, they don't give you left or right, or at least they don't say. Um, but the bigger holes, you know, we're going to go here because these smaller holes go in the bar. So I'm guessing that's going to go there. And this one is going to go there. So we're using five millimeter here. Uh, just want to take something, put a towel or something over here, just, you know, in case you don't want to loosen this and this bar drops and scratches your nice screen there. So we're going to loosen this up. Both five. Just going to loosen this. I'm spinning this side because I don't want to spin this side because it'll actually touch and scratch the windshield. These come off like this. So you get a spring and then you get this piece. Watch out for that spring. So this big nut here, this is a 19 millimeter. All right, so actually I'm gonna leave that in there. I'm just gonna This guy is going to go there. Right, so I made the mistake. You got to get this washer in there too. And I'm not going to tighten this up yet until I put the other bar in. So I'm just going to leave that. Not too tight, I don't want to crack that. And okay, we'll check these in another day or so, just to make sure they didn't loosen up. We could do a ball mount. And voila, looks good. Have it on. All right, so quick change of plans. I decided to go with the uh, quad lock instead of using the GPS, and that's just my own preference. Uh, the good thing about this with the RAM mount is you can always swap back and forth. I could go back between the GPS and the phone, but I kind of li like my phone up there, and I like the quad mount. And like I said, with the RAM mount, you just undo this, and you can swap back to the uh, the other one if you want, which actually is over here with it's got the ball so i can always go back and forth and this is this is just the x-ram uh the quick grip yeah, you can see quick grip and all links would be down below but you could use this this is really meant for the phone that actually happens to fit my old car gps but i'm kind of 
going back to using the phone right now for navigation. All right, so there it is mounted on the bike. I actually took the ball mount and I swinged it over to the left-hand side because I want the phone mounted vertically, which as you can see works kind of better that way. At least it's not right in my line of sight. It's off to the left and I like the GPS to be vertical just because it gives you a kind of further look out forward than the widescreen. So that's why I mounted it this way. Um, it's really an easy install, easily done with one person. Two is always better. You know, this way you got someone to give you a hand if, if needed. But other than that, the install is easy it's quick um, you can do it yourself all links will be down below in the video description and if you have any questions comments please leave them below and uh, that's about it hope everyone has a great day and catch you later